Hello and welcome back to the podcast. It's episode 154. Whoop, whoop. Only two away from a three year anniversary. Yeah. And I'm joined by my lovely wife. It's me! <laughs> it's you. Sorry. Does that frighten you when I get all excited about that? No, it's fine. It's nice to be called lovely wife. Good. You're a lovely husband too. I am. Yeah. Okay, and today we're going to discuss a few different things. But we're going to start with the build the gift with purchase set of your dreams. Yeah, competition. Mm. There was like 600 entries. Yeah. We did not go through all of them. One of them a toilet. I don't know. I I don't recall seeing a toilet. Uh, I'm sure there was some like really ridiculous ones. So there were 600 entries. We looked at the 10 that there were in a previous podcast. I'll link back to that. But we now have a winner. I think I've told you who the winner was. Do you know who the winner was? No, I don't know who the winner was. Oh, in that case, let's get your reaction. I'm pretty sure I've told you. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. I'm not. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Ready, steady. It's the autumn snails. Did I not tell you this? No. Oh. And there's the snails. And what I find interesting about this one is that they've actually given you how many votes there were. And given how big a Lego Ideas platform is... Like, the winning one, 806 votes, doesn't seem like that many. It doesn't. So could you only vote for one? You could only vote for one. Okay. But I also don't feel like they advertise some of these things very yeah, well. Yeah, no, I so. don't feel the small competitions get much no. advertisement. I'm really hopeful that when they do this, they give the autumn snail like better capitalisation on that tile. <laughs> Obviously, they can change the idea as well. Like It's not going to be exactly yeah. like this. But... I like snails. Yeah. It's quite cute. I think I'd prefer it to be less dark and dingy and more like fantasy colours, but mm. that's quite different to what, like the autumn snails, I feel like they're meant to be on time all looking, so yeah. I guess it's it's fine. This is not, like, I like it, I like snails, I, I think it's good, but it's not my favourite. Okay. So I am sad to not see my favourite get through. Um. The runner-up, I think I would have preferred to get as well because it will go in the city better. Did you see who the runner-up was? I gave you a sneak peek. No. Ah, uh, the Fry's kiosk. Yeah, I think that would have been a, a nice little addition to the yeah. thing. I guess they've gone for the gift with purchase. Well, it's the one that got the most votes, but yeah. people have gone for something they can display as opposed to like, city building. Yeah. So... So, do you want to see the rest? Because they give you all the votes. Let's have a look then. Yeah. So, so, how much did the winning one? 806. Okay. So, 51 more votes than yeah. second place. And as a percentage, that's like quite high. Do you think everyone who entered voted for themselves? Uh, ooh, do you think they can? I don't know. I mean, if you can and you don't, it's silly. Mm. Um, run up number two, we liked. We yes. thought that was quite good. Yeah. Give a purchase. I'm not far behind. So that's that's two runners up. I think they all three of them get something, but you right. only get the one set, I believe. Yeah. So there was the Attack of the Kraken, four hundred and eighty six votes. The Northern Cardinal, four hundred and fifty three. Yeah. The Propeller Plane Death Fan, three hundred and thirty six. Okay. The Lego Brick Theatre, two nine six votes. Uh, the Fishing Game, 228 votes. Hawaiian Floral Display, 215. That's the nice part, Sausage. Mm. you remember that? Yes. Uh, the White Stalk, 200 votes. Coffee House, 181. Giant Manta Ray, 169. And look, like clearly they should have won Holy Guacamole. Only 153 Duh. votes. Aww. Uh, what is wrong with people? I think it's it's too fun that people are like... it's too fun. Well, like, <laughs> they probably... Everyone would look at it and go, oh, that's really cool, but I'm not voting for it. That thing is... Okay. It's something that you'd enjoy, but if you had to pick your favourite, it right. probably wouldn't be there. Okay. I don't know. I like this one, mm. but... Uh, vintage microphone, 106 votes. 29 votes for Mini Stadium. That's... Uh, that's quite considerably lower. Yeah, that was but, quite a drop there. Well, because it? it's it's a very small thing. That mm. We we agreed that if you were to get this as a gift for purchase, you'd think, where's the rest of it? Yeah. So I think that's probably why. It's, there's yes. nothing wrong with the design. It's just far too small. Yeah. So, 
But yeah, there's a current um, Lego Dreams diorama okay. challenge that we'll take a look at, I guess, when it gets closer. Yeah. But we also have the 80s one. Mm. So if you recall, the 80s one was split into two fan votes. Yeah. We haven't heard the results of the first fan vote yet. No. Did they say it was it would be before? No, they said they didn't say it would we'd find before. But I think people were saying that the first one was going to be the movies and the second one might be TV things. Right. Okay, that was the hope, wasn't it? That was one random theory. That was one random theory, but also like, I can't, I like some of the TV theories, so yeah. I thought it would be nice to see some of them. So I was hoping for that. Are you ready to see there's five to vote for? Sure, let's have a look. And then I need to know which one you would vote for. Just quickly, back to the snails. Are you happy with that? Yeah, Do you yeah, want that as a gift Yeah, cool. Okay, so this is open from yesterday till next Monday. Okay. Okay, a giant gizmo. Okay. I mean, it's quite a good looking gizmo. Yeah. And I'm, I think people were saying I'd, instead of the house, I'd rather have a yeah, gizmo. Yeah, so people, people, people will be happy about this mm. one. Uh, it looks kind of similarly cuddly as Bowser. So I'd be... If this was a set, I'd be quite keen to get it. Right, okay. Um, I don't really have like a, a massive place for mm. the, the Gremlins, but Gizmo's cute. Yeah. And he, like, I understand who he is, Ooh. so he, he'd be okay. Yes. He does look like he's got Dobby's feet there, though. Like, a little bit, yeah. yeah. Next up, we've got Giant E.T. Less keen. Kind of creepy looking. Yeah. But then I guess E.T. is kind of creepy looking. Yeah. I think it's the mouth isn't quite right. Okay. I don't know. Something's off. The mouth looks like... I can't put what her name is. Her name? Yeah. Give me some clues what you're thinking of. Planet of the Apes. Oh, Helena Bonham Carter's character. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't know what her name was anyway. So... That's good enough for yeah. me. Yeah, I see that. So, E.T. cross with Helen Bonham Cart. Yeah. Which is not a nice thing to say, but I'm sure she doesn't listen to the podcast. She doesn't. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Sorry. Um, so those... I, I, I haven't seen those two. I was like, oh, maybe they're doing a theme of large-scale characters. I don't know why well, I would think that. No, that seems like a weird thing to assume. Yeah, well... It's just the first two are like it. I just assume it would carry on. But it doesn't. We've got Golden Girls. Okay. Now, oh, I don't think I've seen Golden Girls. Okay. Do you, have you seen Golden Girls? Not really. My friend keeps telling me how funny it is and how like okay. she's re-watching it and she thinks everyone should watch it. So I might have to look it up and, and watch it. Okay. But I like the kitchen design. Mm. Like This seems like a good interior. Right. So I'm quite keen on this one, even though I don't know the source material. Okay. Because city-wise, looks good. Mm. Uh, Beetlejuice, the sandworm house. This is small scale, isn't it? This is, yeah. So you wanted the sandworm. Yeah. It, did you want it like this? Um. So I was saying that the other one didn't look obviously enough Beetlejuice. Yeah. Do you think wrapping a black and white snake thing? I think this one does enough. that. I also think the house design is actually a bit more obviously Beetlejuice. As I said, you've got that bit down the front where you've got that wall in the middle of nowhere, which you had on the other one, but it wasn't as obvious. Right. I think that's quite a main feature of the house. Fair enough. Obviously, after the remodel, not in the original. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I prefer the design of the house. I think what confuses me about this is that I'm pretty sure that's a micro, like a, a, a smaller scale house. Yes. Yet the minifigs have been scaled down to make it look like they're the same scale. Yes. And that f completely throws it for me. <laughs> yeah, there is. A I'm just like, I don't understand what that. this is. What are these pieces? Mm. Like, why? Are, or is it just, it is a normal scale and it's just. Because look at the teeth oh, on the sand. Maybe, one. yeah, okay. Maybe it's just, it looks like it's micro scale, but it's really not. Yeah, no, those it's... are proper pieces. No, um, I, it, the scale's wrong. It's Something's small wrong. scale. That is not minifig scale. Mm. No, you're right. It's yeah. not. So, do you like it? So what? 
Yeah, that's it. It's okay. Better uh, than the other Beetlejuice one. Yeah, I'm liking the little shrunken head guy. This guy? Yeah. Or this. What's that? I don't know what that is. Something behind the house that, yeah, that I can't yeah. see. Could just be a sign. Could be this bit being shown. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't know. Right. You like the shrunken head guy? I like the shrunken head guy. How have they done the shrunken head guy? I don't know. I think just with a cylinder. Right. Oh, of course, yes. Okay. So you're, you're rating this higher than the one that there was in the last round? Yes. Yeah, fair enough. And then the last one is Big. I don't think I care about Big. No. Um, like it's a good movie, but I don't need a Lego set of it. Mm. So I think of these, Gizmo's my favourite, or Golden Girls. Gizmo, Gizmo okay. and Golden Girls are my favourites. I think um, Gizmo or Beetlejuice. Okay. You're not a fan of the um, Golden Girls? No. No, that's fair. So... So, but so can we vote on these? Yes, yet? we can. But we don't know the results of the previous round. No. Which kind of sit when they've got two gremlin sets and two, two Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice sets, yeah. you yeah. want the vote for the first one to be known. Yes, vote on the second exactly. One. It's very strange. Mm. Like, why would they do that? I don't know. It's weird. Mm. I mean, has. I think the vote is finished on the other one. Yeah, but we don't know who the winner's going yeah. to be. So we don't know if there's going to be a Gremlins house. Yeah, why would they do this? Mm. If they were completely different franchises, then that's fine. But to have... Was the E.T. one in the first round, or was that the one that got bumped out? I don't recall. Uh, didn't Karate Kid get bumped out? No. Yeah, I think it was Karate right. Kid that got bumped okay. out. So I think there was an so they've got one. E.T. in the first round. E.T. Gremlins and Beetlejuice. So three of them are in both rounds. So what was the other two? In Goonies and Honey, I Shrink the Kids. Yeah. So yeah, it's really odd. Mm. Unless they already know what won the first one and they put these in because so the first one was Honey, I Shrink the Kids or Goonies. It's it's really confusing, isn't it? Yeah. Just don't do it in such a weird way. Yeah. Lego just like to confuse us, though. They it's do. The thing to do. Mm. Gizmo Gizmo is definitely growing on me, but yeah, I don't like the ET. So we'll find out hopefully before September. I think is what it says. Didn't they say the exact date we? Find they said out no. Or? They say um, we'll share the results of this fan vote on the ideas blog no later than September first. Ah, okay. So by September the first, we should know. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So there you go. So the last thing I've got to talk about is Wicked. Okay. Now, the funny thing about this is that you didn't even know it was coming. No. Like, I don't know how you missed that. Because I, I knew it was coming. Possibly knew and just didn't I, I Yeah, I love, I love Wicked. So I'm, I'm not sure about the film, though. Like... You know when you've seen something at the theatre lots of times and then they do something new? No. 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 <laughs> I don't know how it's going to translate to, to film. It's probably going to be epic, actually. It's mm. probably really, really good because they will have less limitations on like the scenery and stuff yeah. because they can do that. Yes. But Take it's going to be a musical, to right? They're going to sing. Music lessons at school and analysing the difference between... The stage performance of West Side Story in the film, because oh. in in the film you do a lot. They have a lot more kind of acrobatics, right? I think in the the big sharks versus jets one, there's like one essentially on like asymmetric bars. I don't know why they right. have asymmetric bars on the street, but so like well, swinging around. Where do you keep your stuff. asymmetric bars? Yeah, and so the teacher make a big thing about how you couldn't do that on the stage. Because it would be too tiring. You wouldn't be able to do uh, the rest of the show. Whereas you can stop in a film, it. you film that one day and that's it. The yeah. next day, you're, you're back refreshed and doing something else. Yeah, that's true. So they can get around a lot of different things by doing it as a film. But then does it become less believable? I don't know. It's but then I guess, the time, I guess the timelines, like if they're making out like they're walking really far, yeah. like come back the next day, you wouldn't... 
you speed things up in a mm. musical because you want it all done. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. Now, there's going to be four sets so far. The movie is a two-parter, so yeah. I'm guessing the four sets are based on the first of the, yes. those movies. And everyone... Assume both parts get made. You think they won't make the second part? It, it doesn't happen often, but occasionally. Do they not do both at the same time? I don't know. No, of course they don't, because Harry Potter. <laughs> like, yes. Oh, we're going to make eight films, but we're going to yeah. do it all at once. Can yeah. you imagine the difference then? Um, although that was meant to be like... Mm. Each year they'd yeah. come back and they'd be older, so it worked yes. well for that. Yeah. Because there was the Lord of the Rings animated film where they only did part one. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't even recall there being an animated film, so... Uh, Interesting. Now, you see this picture here. Mm. This is what people want, apparently. Is it? But what they're getting is mini dolls. And people are like, oh, I was really excited for this. And now I'm not. Well, yeah, people suck. Get over it. Yeah, I mean, why does it matter? Yeah. Like, mini dolls, mini figs. They're just little people. Yeah. I think I have. Well, I'm not bothered, so mm. I guess it's hard for me to sympathise with either side because mm. I like both of them. Yeah. You like neither of them because you don't like. You're not in any way bothered about yeah. minifigs. I kind of feel. I kind of like the idea of more mini dolls due to the fact that it gives our girls kind of room to grow into other things. Yes. Um, mini dolls have so far been a bit restrictive in which themes they actually crop up in. Well, Disney and Friends. Yeah, and elves. Yes. Well, that's before and their a time. A couple of. Lego maybe two sets. Yes. But not many. Yeah. I mean, but this is the kind of leaks that I really don't care for. Here's a set number, a price oh, yeah. and a number of pieces. Who cares? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't tell us anything. No. Like, we've not seen the film, so how are we going to predict what it's going to be like? Yeah. Um, like, I think... Um, Brick Fanatics, who are reporting here, they've done another article of the five places we want to see done in sets. It's like, well, you're only getting four sets, so which one yeah. do you not care about? Mm. Um, but I just, it bothers me how outraged people get. Like, oh, I was going to buy these, I'm not, not even going to consider it now. It's like, if you like Wicked and that's your thing, why would you make the decision not to get it just because? Yeah, I know. The shape of a figure. I can understand that if they'd seen pictures and gone, no, this looks like Friends and I dislike Friends and the fact that they've called it Wicked, it's just a travesty, that kind of... I can understand that. But going, oh no, I'm definitely going to hate the eighty nine ninety nine set because yeah. it's got 945 pieces and at least four of those are going to be for a mini doll. <laughs> it's... Such a stupid thing to do. Yeah. See the sets, then work out, buy the sets and throw the mini dolls away if you don't like the mini well, dolls. But or use the hair the and stick it onto a mini fig. Yes, yes, that's exactly it. Use the hair and put it on a mini fig if you're really mm. that upset. Because you definitely need the people for these sets. Mm. Like, no one's buying wicked sets and not wanting the people. Right. Like, how else are you going to recreate the scenes? Like, it's about the people. It's not a, come see this musical where you just look at some land. Ooh, some land. Like, there's people. You've got to make them sing. But, I mean, I mean, not having seen it at all, how many of the scenes would actually work fine with Wizard of Oz characters? No. No? No. No. There's no Munchkin Village. Uh, I think there is a Munchkin Village, but they haven't made Munchkins. Have they have Lego? No. You can still put Dorothy in there. No, you can't. Dorothy's not there. The she, timeline is completely wrong. Dorothy goes to a Munchkin village. I'm saying if there's a Munchkin village set, oh, then you right. could use the could set and populate it with right. the, with okay. the figures. I thought you were like, I'll just stick Dorothy in, yeah. pretend she's Elphaba. Like, that's not a thing you can do. No. No. But you could repurpose the scenery to yeah. tell a different story. Yeah. Got you. Okay, yeah, you could that, probably do that. 
the scarecrow's in it, isn't it? But it's not in scarecrow form. Is that? Mm, you know something about Wicked. I, I, I know vague rubbish about it. <gasps> Don't say rubbish about Wicked. It's <laughs> it's Wicked. I love okay. it. It's got some really good songs. Okay. I'm I'm still in two minds whether to take the girls to it or not. Right. One because it's expensive. Hmm. Would would it be too scary? I don't know, but they've seen Wizard of Oz and kind of I'd like them to see but like no, the other side you. of the story kind of thing. Mm, interesting. I'm excited. Yeah, but we're not getting them to October. So why why tell us now then? Yeah, no. Why leave people with four months of misery? I know <laughs> four months of people going. I don't want it because it's got mini dolls. Yeah. And then when it comes out, buying it. Well, yeah, why are they teasing it already? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Because, yeah, because Lego have officially teased it, haven't they? They have, twice. So. Two teasers. Two teasers. Two teasers. Uh, it's unacceptable. Why are you laughing? Because you're crazy. Cause, yeah, so we don't know what they look like. We don't know. It could be for... Micro scale builds, each that comes with, you know, a mini doll on a little display stand next to it. So you could easily ignore the mini dolls and it would have no impact on you at all. Yes, although there's quite a lot of parts though. Well, Micro builds take quite a lot of parts. Yeah, you might, they do. Hang on, let's. Where's the boxes? Yeah, I was going to look and see how many were in the micro Ninjago City, but yeah, there is quite a lot of parts in micro builds. Oh, that wouldn't be as cool. No, the, the piece counts don't seem that high, actually. Yeah, the piece counts are quite low. Yeah, the prices are quite low. Hmm, what's it gonna be? Are they play sets? Are they display sets? Yeah. This is the thing, we've got no information. We've got information, we look, know. it tells us there, all the stuff we need to know. We don't know what the age range they're going for four on plus. this is. They're what all, four, all four of them are going to be four plus. Yeah. We don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You're, not, you're saying that. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. That's what we'll go with. They're all going to be four plus sets. Mini dolls that you can just throw away. Yeah. Well, I'm getting them. <laughs> Duh. Oh, dear. It says, I can't wait for fans to see these colourful sets. I hope they will enjoy unlocking their imagination, creating and telling their own wicked inspired stories. So they're going to be colourful. Mm. There you go. I guess we will have to wait and see. We will. Did we want to talk about bags? We could talk about bags. We could talk about bags. Let's talk about bags. We also have to rate the room. Okay. Um, so for those people who aren't aware, the the UK Lego stores have now started charging for bags. Oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. What on earth were they thinking? I mean, that sounds like um, fake outrage, but I'm genuinely outraged. Yeah, it's, it's such a stupid, stupid thing to do. So, my opinion is, Lego is a premium product. Yeah. Therefore, providing a way for you to take it from the store is part of that premium yeah. thing. And therefore, it should be included in the price of the set. Yes. 15p for a bag... Whilst not much, it's just the audacity of it. It is. And the fact that every single bag, regardless of size, is 15p. Yeah. So you can get a small bag, a medium bag, a large bag, or, as we found out at the weekend, one of the massive ones that are made of plastic hmm. that they give, like, the 8080s away with, yeah. is also 15p. Yes. Like that. That's worth 15 p yes. that one. The rest, not so but much. But can you get that when buying a CMF? Well, that's what I'm going to try next time. Yeah. Just for, just for to... giggles. Um, I just... I do think it's slightly cheeky because, obviously, they're using the fact that people have to pay for carrier bags. Yeah. So if you go to a that's shop a in the UK, you get a carrier bag, you have to pay for it. And it was originally brought in on, like, the cheap... One use plastic bags. Yeah. Was it ten p? I think there were five p bags. I think there were five p. Yeah. And so, but that wasn't five p going to the shop to pay for the carry bags. The shops had to. It got a bit complicated, but essentially, 
the shops had to pass that money on to charities. Yeah. Um, they were allowed to deduct money for converting over systems in order to be able to charge for bags. Right. They were not allowed to deduct money for the cost of the bags themselves. Because that was the cost they were always doing. Yeah. So. And so, therefore, you know, this money is going to charity. And so, in some ways, you know, it was trying to reduce how much plastic people were using. Yeah. And raise money for charity. All fine. And, but, so Lego have kind of taken that and twisted it into a for-profit thing. Yep. That I don't like. And also, they don't need to do it on paper bags because the legislation is not there for for paper bags. Also, the paper bags they provide, like the bigger ones, Mm. not fit for purpose. Like, they kill your hands. They do. They rip because they're made of paper. And so, charging someone for a a bag that you can't reuse very easily yeah. seems ridiculous. I, I just, I'm, I'm against it. I think they need to um, rethink their decision. They do. Or, no, just rethink yeah. their decision. We've also heard stories about people being charged for them without being told they were going to be yeah, charged so for them. In the um, Leicester Square store, they said, do you want a bag? And you, of course, go... Yes, please, and then they charge you for it without telling you that it's a chargeable bag, yeah. and that is not on. Yes. That's just trickery. It is. So that definitely wasn't happening at Southampton. We definitely, no, they were you know, we were stood clear. at the pad wall behind the hills, and every time they were asking someone wanted a bag, and they were saying they had to charge for it. Yeah. So very open about it. Yeah, and, and they don't want to be charging for it. No. Like, specifically, the Southampton store. They, I've been in the store before when someone has reused a bag and that bag was manky and they didn't want that, that bag in their store. Yeah. They would rather not have had that bag in their store. Yeah. Um, and that's the risk that they're going to have when people bring them in from home. That they might come back in manky and they have to touch manky bags. Yeah. Um, no one wants to touch a manky bag. No. That's taking a turn. <laughs> but I just, it just feels like. St- Stealth tax after stealth tax. Mm. So price increase, price increase, price increase yeah. from Lego at the moment. Mm. Like nothing seems to be um, with our best interests at heart. Mm. And I, like, I, they're touting it as they need to meet their green targets. Like that's, they said they were going to do this. Therefore they're doing it. But. The green targets of not using plastic. Yeah. I don't. How does how do paper bags factor into? Well, exactly. I don't. Plastic. I don't know. But that's what their little sign in the store says. Mm. It's part of their green initiatives. I just, just say it how it is. We just want to charge you for these things that cost us money. Yeah. It's like, but Lego is really not that easy to put into a bag you currently have. Like, yeah, I think Lego that's is the unwieldy. Thing. Yeah. And, I guess. For us, we always plan that we're going to the Lego store, so we just take a bag that's the right sort of size. But quite a lot of people... But you don't necessarily know what you're buying. No, you? that's true. But a lot of people might just go in on the off chance that, yeah. oh, we'll walk past the Lego store, that'll be cool. Yeah. That's annoying. Oh, yes. look, I've seemed to have bought a massive set and I have to yeah. try and put it under my arm. That's it. I know a lot of people who carry around those, like, carrier bags... Like shopper bags, ...that have been properly yeah. folded down into a small cube. Yeah. And so you can just take that with you anywhere... You're not going to fit a Lego set in them, though. No, not a big Lego set, anyway. So... Yeah, frustrating. Mm. Not impressed. We'll get over it. We'll, we'll accept it. That's just how this works, yeah. isn't it? No, we're going to continue taking our own, own bag because I'm not paying for a bag. Mm. Unless I can get the plastic one and then I'll continue taking that. Yeah. Because that seems fine. Yeah. So, we're on to rate the room. We are on to rate the room. Now you're looking around the room. I'm looking around the room. Does the door close? What? No, there's a bin in the way. I could have easily moved that bin before the start of the podcast. But you didn't. No, because I didn't get up again. Like, I was doing something. I was watching a video about um, a Lego Technic build that clicks buttons at 70 70 clicks per second or something. Yeah. If if you said, oh, it's time to do the podcast. In fact, can you just, like, keep talking amongst yourselves? Okay. I'll keep looking around the room. Uh, overturned baskets. Overturned? Well, that I don't even understand why the basket is in here. That's I, the, I don't know why the basket is in here. Either. Ow! Sorry. But try not to like whack me with your chair as you're turning around the room. Okay. The door closes now. Oh, the door closes. Oh, okay. Magic. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, there's no bin in the middle of the floor, though. <laughs> 
What are you doing? Dropping my phone. The bin is now on my head. The bin is now on your my head. My head is not part of the Lego room. Just assume the bin does not exist. Okay. You can get three and a half points. But like so much has come off the floor. It's all on the wall now. Yep. We've mounted things to the wall. We have. I don't understand how I'll ever get ten points with you. Is that possible? I don't know. It's a Lego room. Yeah. Um, this evening, you know how my aunt wanted to see our Lego room? Yeah. You should have come up with us because her face was hilarious. Like, I don't think she really realised how much Lego we had. Right, okay. She was like, oh my goodness. And then I popped <laughs> up in the middle of the Lego city and she's like, oh, hello. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, just look at that cupboard behind you. That's our backlog. And she's like, oh. <gasps> Mm. And, and then yeah I brought her in this room I brought her in the like all that mm. yeah I think she thinks we've got a problem now <laughs> all of the Lego just it's it's not a tidy it's not a tidy hobby no I think it's fine I, I think you should, you're just picky okay yeah I'm sure you used to give me higher points before like yeah. you seem to have got stuck at three and a half it was tidier before I, okay well, okay. I think we just brought too much Lego into this room. Maybe we should just throw it out into a different room so you don't <laughs> notice. Should we start rating the old Lego room? Let's not, because I'm definitely not winning any points there. <laughs> okay, moving on. Okay. So, I think that's about it for today. So, if you have any thoughts on the autumnal snails, the... Gizmo. The gizmo <laughs> vote. Do you think it the makes giz- sense? The gizmo vote. The gizmo vote. Does having the same IP in two rounds when you don't know the first round's results when you're voting on the second round makes sense no, to you? No, it doesn't. No. Not talking to you. I'm talking to the listeners. Oh, I thought I'm not talking to you. What did I do? <laughs> not talking to you either <laughs> but yeah if you have thoughts on that but in the comments down below what do you think about lego charging for bags is this going to an spread outrage. across the globe or is it a uk only thing <laughs> we're gonna have a, a a bag paying pandemic yeah yeah um as i said drop a comment down below or in whatever way you can do that on different podcast services that i still don't understand and never will because i don't care and we will see you <laughs> If you want to listen to previous episodes, I'll link those up for you. Okay. You missed that bit every okay. time. Also, our, our three-year anniversary is coming up, so Cavi is going to do something spectacular for that. So No, no, no. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said, ask the people to send in questions and we'll answer them. So if you have any questions, we can answer them. It can be about anything at all. Yeah. Um, or if you want your room to be rated, send those in and we will at some point get to them yeah we will and Carrie remembers where she's hidden the pictures yeah and that's about it so we'll see you again next week for another exciting episode of the podcast bye 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 bye